and I want to show you using Cinebench R20 single thread. There are many ways to assess single thread performance, but Cinebench is a fast and easy tool that you can run at home, and it's one of the 25 workloads that we used to calculate the 19% improvement for Zen 3's instructions per cycle. As you can see, the 5900X is the first desktop processor to ever break a 600 score. We don't break it by a little, we break it by a lot with a score of 631. We at AMD heard you loud and clear as you challenged us. The Zen 3 launch has surprised all to the upside and is thus set to have an even more devastating impact on Intel's market share as AMD decidedly takes the gaming crown away from Intel's flagship 10900K processor. So let's take that landmark core performance into a head-to-head -head battle. Across the same set of games you just saw, the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X is a clear winner at 1080p. As I promised you, AMD wins in Shadow of the Tomb Raider by plus six, and is joined by many other games popular with reviewers and users like you. League of Legends and CSGO are once again standout victories for the Ryzen 9 5900X. So that was a lot of data very quickly. Let's take a step back, let's recap. You saw an average uplift of 26% for Ryzen customers upgrading from the 3000 series to the 5000 series. You just watched AMD deliver the highest single core performance in the entire desktop PC market. And you just saw AMD clearly offer the best performance of any gaming processor on the market. Even worse for Intel is that it looks like all of the Zen 3 CPU SKUs will beat Intel's 10900K in single core benchmarking and thus most games if the Cinebench scores for the two processors launched pan out, i.e. the 5900X and the 5950X. For those of you who want the very best processor in a desktop PC, we have the 16-core Ryzen 9 5950X. The 5950X is simply an amazing CPU. 16 cores, 32 threads, and our fastest processor with boost frequencies up to 4.9 gigahertz. The 5950X breaks the Cinebench R20 single-threaded record that Robert set just a few minutes ago with a score of 640. It is truly the best in class in every dimension. Best gaming performance meets best processor for content creation, and all of this still at 105 watts. Now let's take a look at some of the performance. If we look at the generational uplift from the 3950X to the 5950X, we see up to 27% more performance in CAD workloads and 12% more performance in rendering workloads. More impressively, we see up to 29% more gaming performance. And this is really how we bring the best of both worlds together. The best for gamers and the best for creators. And now, if you put 5950X against the top of the stack from the competition, we see that the 5950X provides up to 59% more creative performance in rendering workloads, double-digit wins in video editing and software compiling, and we also win in lightly threaded CAD work. For instance, when comparing against my estimated Cinebench scores for the Zen 3 processors, then both the 5900X and the 5950X scores of 631 and 640 come in at 6.5% higher than my estimated single core benchmark scores. Thus, if this overperformance is replicated across the SKUs yet to be announced, then that would mean the lowest SKU, i.e. the 5300X, would have a Cinebench single score core score of 603, which is well above the 10900K score of 544. Imagine that all of AMD Zen 3 5000 series processors from the 5300X upwards will beat Intel on the Cinebench single core scores. Those on average will beat Intel's flagship 1900K in gaming. And if that were not bad enough, then it's even possible that AMD's 8 core 5800X may beat Intel in multi core processing let alone what the 12 and 16 core processors will achieve. So far, AMD is beating expectations on single core performance that leaves Intel way behind, several years behind. 
whilst we wait for the multi-core performance nail in Intel's coffin info that will just widen the lead AMD has in terms of productivity use. So my next PC system will definitely have an AMD 5950X CPU that will be likely coupled with the NVIDIA RTX 3070 Super. Thank you AMD for beating expectations. Let's make sure that the multi-core beat expect or at least match expectations. <laughs> <laughs>